Hi everyone, Tori here today with a scrapbooking process video. Today I'm showing you one of the layouts that I made for my friend Carly's wedding album, which I've already given to her, but I still have some pages to show you guys. So today I'm working on a monochromatic layout of the groom. So I had these two photos of the groom with his mom, and I kind of wanted to include um, both of those. Okay, so one photo is with his mom and one of them is by himself. And I wanted to include both of those on the same page just because I felt like they would go well together. So, um, while I was shifting through my papers deciding what to do for this layout, I noticed these two papers like kind of strewn on top of each other, like the stripe one and the polka dot one, and they actually looked really cute together. And so then I thought to myself, wouldn't it be nice to make a layout with these two different patterns together? So that's kind of what inspired this page. And I think sometimes we're afraid to mix bold patterns like this, like a stripe and a polka dot. But you know what, they're the same color um, and they actually looked really nice together. So I'm glad that I combined them together. So um, I'm going to just adhere them together and I wanted to try to save some of the um, stripe paper just because I wasn't going to be using that much of it. So I adhered the polka dot and then just trimmed off or cut away the extra so that I could still play with that. And you'll notice that I left the branding strip on the polka dot paper still there and it's because it like had these really cute phrases. Um, that I thought would be fun, something about love and blotty blotty. I can't even remember what it said, but um, I wanted to include that, so I left it on there. And then um, I'm going to just add some vellum underneath the photos. I was trying to add some different textures to the page just for some layering and things like that. Oh, and by the way, these are Felicity Jane papers. They came in an old Felicity Jane kit. I'm not sure which one um, and I'm not sure if they're still available but those are the food that's where the papers are coming from. Okay so once I had kind of added the vellum I kind of regretted gluing it down because I was like oh I feel like it needs more layers in there so I was thinking that maybe I could just add some layers with like tags or with labels or something like that so that's kind of what I'm going to do now. Um, originally when I had like thought out how I was going to lay out this layout, I was going to add the two photos kind of like how they are now, but I was going to put them closer together so there wasn't as much of a gap, um, at the bottom and the top of the photos. But, you know, in the end you just make it work. That's what I like to think of. So I am working away right now on this and while I'm doing that and adding embellishments and stuff, I just wanted to kind of fill you guys in with what I'm up to right now. So I had finished this album and I've already given it to the bride, um, but I have a few more layouts to share, you, share with you. And then once that's done, I'm going to start working on a brand new project. Um, I did decide to do Day in the Life this year, so I took all the photos and everything, and I have all the supplies ready. I just haven't started working on the album. So I'm thinking I might bring you along for that. And then um, I also haven't gotten a chance to scrapbook my trip to Kauai from last summer yet and I really really want to do that so I think I'm going to work on that and then I'm going to work on Christmas and I'm so excited I love Christmas if you guys have been following my channel for a while you know that I am like obsessed with Christmas um, and in case anybody is wondering I am planning on doing a video every day during the month of December and I'm excited about it but it also probably means that it's going to be difficult for me to do like three videos every single week leading up to Christmas plus a video every single day during Christmas because I have to kind of work a lot on that in October and November. So I think I'm going to cut back a little bit and just have videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays in October and November. Um, and then in December, you'll get lots and lots of videos. 
And who knows, I might throw the extra one in there anyways. But if you're wondering where I am, I'm thinking Tuesdays and Thursdays only, not Saturdays, just for a little bit. And then um, that way we can have a video every single day during the month of December. And yeah, I'm excited. So I'm actually wondering if you're planning on doing December Daily this year. Um, and if you have any thoughts or plans for it, I'd love to hear. Why don't you leave me a comment? And if you have any questions for me, um, you could leave those down below too. And maybe I could do like a little Q&A. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I should probably get back and tell you what I'm doing with the layout here. Um, so I'm trying to create like a little embellishment cluster at the bottom there where I added the title, The Groom. I added some flair, some buttons, some enamel dots, etc. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'm not really adding journaling because this isn't my wedding. So I'm just adding little details to kind of make it look special. So I added a faux stitching line. And I'm pretty much going to call that it. I feel like there's space for the bride to add her own journaling if she needs to. Thanks so much for joining me, guys. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you every Tuesday and Thursday.